Hello everybody, my name is Heaven Lee. I am a 19 year old Canadian girl who loves Jesus. And today we are going to be reacting to my old singing videos. We'll see how it goes. I'm a little shy. <laughs> We're gonna start with my first live performance. This is, what, five years ago? This was a talent show. All right. nervous I didn't have much control over my voice I felt like when I got nervous it started to affect my voice I didn't know how to handle that but I do now you can barely hear it I sounded pretty decent but I do remember how it felt to be sitting right there with that guitar <laughs> Kind of like another talent show, but this is like a karaoke type thing. I think it was the same week. It's kind of fuzzy. This is the A-Team. This is when Ed Sheeran started to get famous. nervous voice again I still have that sweater from this performance <laughs> did not know how to do that. I could just kind of see everything that I'm doing wrong in this performance, but I was a beginner and I did need to go through this stage to get to where I am now. We're gonna dip into um, my high school videos. When I was singing with my brother in high school, these are around like grade 10, 11 videos. Pay in mind, we, me and my brother were homeschooled, so these videos are filmed in the living room. <laughs> Spider. <laughs> Spider. By the way, this is my brother Joshua. I was actually teaching him guitar in high school. Control over the notes I was hitting. Um, I didn't find my vibrato yet. It feels like I'm born again. My notes are very long and straight because I wanted to make sure I hit them. I kept the note and it sounds good. Like I'm proud of myself. I continued in that. I continued to train my voice. actually a very powerful song. I sang it very softly here because I didn't want my voice to crack. I wasn't necessarily comfortable with my voice. I was still discovering my voice. Listen closely, you can hear some of my notes are long and straight and some of them I'm slowly finding that little natural shake with my voice. <laughs>
video, you can see me kind of get more comfortable and just loosen up throughout the song and just kind of let go. There was a lady who came to speak. She's like a prophetess. It was like a Christian conference type thing. It was during a very hard time in my life. This was like almost two years ago-ish. This lady pointed me out and she started kind of just speaking words over me. The words were so accurate that I just started to cry. I don't remember how I got up there, but um, I ended up going up there to sing. And this is the performance. <laughs> was in front of the speakers so I did not hear my voice at all I have to trust muscle memory that I was on the right key and since I sang the song before I actually told them the song I wanted to sing so this is the song I was practicing with my brother before I had to trust my muscle memory of the key of the song because I could not hear my voice this is a very kind of a powerful moment and just something that really kick-started me to just keep going this one I was cleaning a house it was empty so the acoustic was awesome 2015 16 ish I was using the throat part and there's like a different register you could use where you could sing ongoing and not lose your voice but if you keep singing so much with your throaty sound and kind of strain for those notes it's bad for your throat and you can lose your voice a lot faster but like I said I was discovering my voice I've never sang with a band backing me up and me with the microphone so singing with the microphone was kind of very foreign to me the only time I ever sing with the microphone is like with karaoke I was actually backed up by the outlaws it was the first time we actually sang the song together these performances we have never practiced them together i had no band experience this video is actually just this year it was around june just song so the first videos we watched i was 14 we're gonna be reacting to this year's elders gathering performance five years later Just were in the middle and they were facing this one spot so i had to kind of stay in that spot to hear myself but this is also the song where i forgot the lyrics and we're gonna witness that together so i don't want to watch it 
but we're gonna watch it. Okay. what happened in that very moment. I looked to Joel, he's a lead singer of the Outlaws who are backing me up in this video. And um, I was hoping he would remember the lyrics, but he was just like, uh, I'm just playing the guitar. Like, don't look at me for help. Like, I was slightly embarrassed. You practiced the song how many times? You listened to this over and over. I can't believe you forgot the lyrics. Immediately, I shut that part out of my brain and I was just like, you know what? It's like, it'll come to me, it'll come to me. I just had this peace and I just knew that if I took a moment, they would come to me. If you watched closely, I actually kind of closed my eyes and I'm like, okay. And then, oh, remember how excited. And I continued the song and I finished it, right? So it taught me that don't be overconfident. I guess it got to my head. So when I forgot the lyrics, I was like, what? The little incident kind of humbled me a little bit. The situation could have been so much more embarrassing, so much more awkward. I kept smiling and I just took a breath and I just let the lyrics come to me naturally. It's little situations like this, you learn a lot about yourself. God is good. I learned from this performance. It wasn't a total disaster. <laughs> I hope you liked the video. So I'm happy to kind of share a bit of that experience for you guys and maybe inspire you guys for those of you who want to be a singer to know that it takes practice. This is a muscle that you have to train the same way an athlete has to train. Watching these old videos just shows me just how far you can go when you really put your mind to it and practice. Thank you so much for watching and God bless. Duh!